Alrighty folks, welcome to Elon Musk Radio. My name is John, your host from down here in New Zealand. Very grateful that you can join me today. Today's episode is going to be about Elon Musk. Should he create his own Twitter-like platform from scratch rather than purchasing Twitter for $44 billion? Should he just go ahead and invest a couple of billion dollars into having his own platform built from scratch? taking everything that we love about Twitter, but improving on it and being less strict in regards to censoring freedom of speech. Now, about a month ago, I did make an episode where I touched on this. It was called, Should Elon Musk Build a Twitter Clone from Scratch and Call It X? Now, X is, of course, in reference to the domain name x.com that Elon Musk owns. He has had that domain name from the early days in his business career. He had a company called X that was going to be the like the first online bank. It then merged with Peter Thiel's financial company called Confinity and that became PayPal. They sold PayPal and that gave Elon Musk the funds to start Tesla and SpaceX. So he still owns that domain name x.com. As far as I'm aware, he hasn't done anything with it. When you go to it, it literally just goes to a non-secure web page that has a little x on it. So now I had made a video six days ago called The Real Reason Elon Musk Wanted Twitter So Bad and Why He Won't Start a Competing Platform. In that, I kind of outlined or the reason that I think Elon wants Twitter, or at least wanted Twitter so badly, is because of its global brand recognition. It's basically iconic, it's kind of up there, that little blue bird is kind of up there with Coca-Cola and McDonald's. Also, just the fact that the word Twitter and tweet and retweet, they just work so well together for a micro-vlogging platform so it could be hard to start another platform from scratch i think donald trump has kind of found that out the hard way when he got kicked off twitter and has gone about starting his own platform that he's called truth social which i don't really like that name i think it's kind of boring and a little bit clanky but yeah he's found out the hard way that it is very hard to compete with twitter because twitter is kind of like the original microblogging platform has sort of become a household name in terms of short updates about current events and celebrities and it's very very hard to compete with it and Elon Musk possibly could find the same thing although I think he would have a lot better chance than Donald Trump of successfully establishing a competing platform to Twitter Now guys, the reason that I have kind of changed my tune and I'm starting to lean towards, yes, Elon Musk should start his own platform is because it looks like Twitter has shadow banned me. Okay, my notifications have basically gone silent and I posted a tweet yesterday uh, talking about how we are wanting to create a 24 hour live stream dedicated to Elon Musk and the companies that he runs and I'm wanting to get heaps and heaps of presenters from all around the world contributing episodes. I'll upload them to the Elon Musk Radio YouTube channel and we will also feed them into a live stream on that channel which will be running 24-7. Obviously a lot of the episodes will need to be on repeat initially but that will get less and less as we have more creators contributing episodes. So yeah, from reports, people that I tagged in this post yesterday didn't receive notifications or they're not receiving notifications or can't see my replies or something of possibly being shadow banned on Twitter. When it actually happens to you, you start to really see just how horrible censorship is. And it's possible that they are targeting the Elon Musk radio Twitter account because they are so angry with Elon Musk because he's wanting to pull out of the Twitter purchase deal. It's now looking like it's going to be heading to court. So it's possible that anyone promoting Elon Musk is going to be less successful or less have their tweets, you know, spread as wide as they normally would on Twitter because they are angry with Elon Musk, basically. 
There's another possibility that they saw this tweet that I done. Um, Elon Musk was smoking weed on Joe Rogan, and then he's like, I've decided to buy Twitter. And the t board at Twitter, which are like, it's sort of illustrating that they're like very far left woke types and they're like no we can't allow that fascist elon musk to buy twitter anyway elon musk continues smoking the joint and he's like i've decided not to buy twitter and they're like buy twitter elon musk buy us buy us buy us and uh yeah so just a funny little meme um, i'm sure hopefully people can just see the funny side of that but possibly Twitter has taken offense to it. I'm not too sure. Maybe they didn't even see it. Like that, I'm just speculating here that this could be possibly why I've been shadow banned. But anyway, once it actually happens to you, you kind of just see the power that Twitter holds because it is kind of like the original microblogging platform. It has that strong, iconic brand recognition up there with coca-cola and mcdonald's and you just really get a taste when it actually happens to you when you're shadow banned or censored of just how horrible censorship is so with that in mind guys if elon musk was to start a competing microblogging platform basically take everything about twitter that we love but improve on it and make it about free speech basically as long as what you're saying is within the boundaries of the law okay obviously if you're posting stuff that is generally considered to be extremely offensive or illegal in society then yes that should be censored but if it's just being light-hearted with a sense of humor yes you may get slightly offended but people still should be allowed to have freedom of speech and to say it what are your thoughts guys if Elon Musk was to start a competing platform, and I'm not saying he should definitely call it X, I just kind of like that name because it's simple, it's easy to remember, it's quite futuristic sounding X, which could, you know, match up quite nicely with his other companies, Neuralink and Tesla and the Optimus Tesla bot and SpaceX colonizing other planets. X could work quite well as a micro blogging or a social media platform. So yeah, just putting it out there. If you can think of a better possible name that Elon could use, leave it in the comment section below. What do you think about all this? Let me know your thoughts. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And guys, if you are interested in becoming a creator for Elon Musk Radio, it's very easy. You can make the episodes as short or as long as you want. The easiest way to do it is just to have screen recording software and some sort of microphone. And then you can just talk about Tesla, about SpaceX, Neuralink, about Elon Musk. You can just talk about news and current events related to him and his companies. Email it through to me using Google Drive, attach the video file and I will upload it as an episode on the Elon Musk Radio channel. And of course, the plan, as I was just talking about before, is to have enough episodes coming in that we can start a 24-hour live stream on YouTube that's just 100% dedicated to Elon Musk and the companies he runs and has many, many different presenters from all around the world contributing their opinions, their interviews, their updates regarding Elon Musk. And as he goes to start colonizing Mars is releasing the Tesla bot and Robo Taxis and Neuralink. It's just going to be extremely exciting to have a dedicated radio station 100% dedicated to Musk and everything he's doing. So yeah, I'm excited about it. If you want to get involved, just leave a comment on a, one of my episodes and I will see that on YouTube or just go to the Elon Musk Radio Twitter of course, I'm a little bit wary about our Twitter now that it's looking like we're possibly shadow banned, but I don't know. Maybe that shadow ban will just last a wee while. I'll probably look at deleting this tweet, even though I shouldn't have to delete it, but I'll probably look at deleting it. Just uh, see if that helps get rid of the shadow ban. Okay, guys, I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for listening. My name is John down in New Zealand, and you have been listening to EMR, which is an acronym for Elon Musk Radio.